Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XV. We are here still in Hammerhead, still in Chapter 1, ready to continue to make progress and to head off to... Um, head over to um, the Longwive rest area in order to maintain... in order to um, keep making progress. So here we have... That was a... So it's a bit of a some sort of jumping about there. So I think we had a, a little bit of that sort of uh, conversation before, i.e. Prompto being like he wants to return to Hammerhead, um, probably, uh, well, in order to see Cindy in particular, um, but doesn't feel like he can without the excuse of uh, a vehicle. So, but yeah, so uh, in the last episode we started off our playthrough and we had a bit of trouble um, right at the end getting back to Hammerhead, which is why we needed to teleport to the car. Um, because of the nighttime demons that were blocking the road and stopping us from making progress. So thankfully, uh, it's now daytime. It is no longer a problem for us. And what we can now do is we can uh, drive down this way to the Longwave rest area. Um, and here in Longwave, there are a few things that we'll be able to, uh, to do from the start. So the music you're hearing is, uh, as it says, Sky Smiling Down On Me, um, one of the uh, few sort of Lucian cruising tracks that they introduced in the game uh, that are, you know, brand new and are only heard in this game. Um, obviously, a lot of the other uh, soundtrack, at least what you can listen to in the car and things like that, is, um, is recycled from other Final Fantasy games. So the reason that we were here... Okay, yeah, so we're here um, because Cin Cindy at Hammerhead uh, asked us to uh, pass on a package on to the Long Wire Rest area, and so we're just going to do that. But first, we can just get a metal scrap there once more. Got a few of those now. And then, yeah, we'll finish off this quest. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll dig it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Stuff. That old boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh, yeah. Soul blossoms. to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. Okay, so there we have uh, a little flashback to when uh, Noctis and Luna were um, sort of together in Tenebrae several years ago. And that was primarily to help Noctis after he had his injury, which again is all detailed in the Brotherhood uh, anime uh, that was posted on YouTube. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not going to tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? You don't say. So 
Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Goldoo. Got some uh, some teasing there, some light teasing from the uh, from the Choker Bros uh, to got to Noctis there. So we get given uh, something um, for the quest Gone Hunting, and that's going to start a series of quests all uh, to do with Dave. Uh, obviously, we met Dave uh, earlier, what, well, last episode up, in Chapter 1. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll just be able to continue with that. So here we have an orienteering checkpoint. Um, these orienteering checkpoints are primarily here because they will give you access to some extra recipes. So here. At last you may savour the fruit of your labour. For victory sweet taste lies here with you. And so there, Ignis gets his a new recipe based, uh, based from that. So again, uh, these sort of things, they're found um, sort of scattered across um, the... Uh, the large open world here, and you can pick them up, and yeah, they're just there for uh, for extra recipes primarily. So we'll pick up a sharp bone. Okay, so um, it's rather amusing that that guy really wants us to do some. Uh, that this guy here wants us to do a delivery because the person we're delivering it to is really not that far away. He's in fact just across the road. So find Dave here. And we'll be able to start a quest. So we start off a series of quests here from Dave, which are all about um, collecting these dog tags um, from fallen hunters. Uh, so what we can do is actually we can... think they got to be tough to be the best hunter. The best hunters are the ones who know when they ain't tough enough. Like I always tell my hunter, knowledge is power that'll save your ass. Stay informed. Save your ass from them too. Okay, so that is... So yeah, that starts that quest. It's not actually that far from here and we will be taking it on, um, which is quite nice. What we do want to do is just go through here. We can sit next to. Uh... I'm done. Yeah, broke a few bones in there. Uh, let me get this shot. Oh, love the light. So you can sit down next to Kenny Crow. Um, these are the Kenny Crow's di or Crow's Nest diners. There are a few of them um, across across Lucis, uh, and you can find. Um, the titular Kenny Crows there as well. And obviously because it is a diner, because it is a restaurant, that's where we'll find our tipster as well. So we'll head in and have a chat. Welcome to the Crow's Nest. What would you like? Happy to tell you about the area.
So it gives us some information about the area um, as we want. We should be able to find some more things in terms of, like, so we've got havens, parking spots, outposts, and some more procurement points. I don't think we've got, yeah, we won't have a, uh, uh, a food bonus at this current time because of, um, because we stayed in the caravan last time. So we will have some food here. And there we go, Ignis gets yet another recipe. And then, because it is an area where we can pick up some, some quests as well, some hunts. So we've got a few here that are only available at night um, because they are demons. Um, but we also have one, I think this one in particular, we don't need to wait until night. So um, that one we will... Uh, we might as well take them all on. Uh, the Squash the Squirmers one will be quite tough for us, um, being at its level 14. But we could probably still manage it. Um, take care out there. And something we can also do is actually uh, listen to these radios that are located um, around the... Uh, Let's see, dig into a platter of Kenny's fries. Kids and crows agree these Christian gold taters can't be beat. Some kind of bird. I'm big on birds. Uh, we've also got the Justice Monsters 5 uh, machines that you can play here um, for 10 gil, um, which is actually pretty cheap. There are, we're not going to play these here. We will play them at a different point later on because um, you I think you can get some pretty decent uh, rewards from doing that. But anyway, yeah, so uh, we've got a few radios. You dream of driving the open road, but what drives you? Passion, power, Koenig's oil. So, your local Koenig station and ask for Koenig's oil. So there are a few uh, adverts, obviously, for Koenig's oil. There's one for the Lestolem Hotel. There's one for Kenny Crow. So we've got a few adverts, but then you will also will get um, story-based uh, information as well, or just sort of stuff to fill in the background as well. There we have some, uh, obviously, some geopolitical information um, due to the war um, and the weakening power in Insomnia. Um, the Lucian kings have actually ceded, are going to cede the, pretty much the entire continent to the Niflheim Empire um, just to protect their people, uh, to ensure that their people don't suffer at the hands of, of, of the war. Of the people of Lestalem, and 
which will continue to provide power for generations to come. Exiterous industry. The dress is being produced by none other than Vivian Westwood, Opus's premier designer. First-rate chefs from around the world have assembled in Alpisa to cater the wedding. The team is crafting a menu rich with delicacies, including caviar fresh from the Baia de Taluna. Flowers have also been flown in to fill the bouquet Lady Luna Freya will carry as she walks down the aisle. So we hear some more information about Noxious and Luna's wedding there. And somewhat some bits of the excitement that are surrounded. it. So we've seen the Laville Hotel, Koenig's Oil, we had the one from Exineris, which I think I accidentally skipped over, but again, it's just an advert. Um, we had, we also had a chat there with Sonia Jaeger, who is a character that will come up uh, later on. So there's some information about the hunters and then that looks like we've, we, we've gone through them all okay so uh, that gives us a pretty good position to be in I think um, so one thing uh, I think we do just want to check is oh there is a piece of map yet another part of the map Okay. Given that's first, maybe that's the one they expect you to find, even though it's not particularly easy to see there. Okay, so we now have a bunch of different quests. We do want to do Scraps of Mystery 7, we do want to do Gone Hunting, and we do want to do uh, this one, the Hunter Slaying Herd. Um, um, if we do all of those, that should start to bring the time towards night time, in which case we'll then be able to um, tackle um, the nighttime quests as well. Uh, and all of this is in plans, um, all of this is stuff that we want to get done before um, heading off to Golden Key in particular, um, or at least I would like to get done um, before we move on uh, to Golden. Obviously... Noctis trying to play it cool, uh, but I think um, something that isn't really talked over, and I, I there was a lot of criticism um, with the game at least um, from launch about um, sort of the um, the relationship between Noctis and Luna not being fully um, realised, or not sort of feeling um, crucial enough, given how important it is uh, in terms of the actual the general uh, thing for the story. Um, and that's definitely um, something that I can appreciate. Um, I think what it does do, at least, is it does give um, some information as to things that it could um, sort of allude to a relationship. What do we find there? It came from there. Ah, you see, we've got some saber tusks. Look like that they've taken away our dog tag. But yeah, so um, so the relationship definitely isn't like ironclad, and it's not really fully gone into. And I think um, there's definitely was meant to be more more put into it. If you've ever looked into the development of the game, you'll know that it was a very um, difficult game um, for all in terms of development. It was in development hell for ages, 
and um, a lot of that did come down with regards to what was going on with the story and things like that. Um, but yeah, I still think um, it's not. It's unfair for me, at least in my opinion, to say there's absolutely nothing. And me being able to fill in the gaps, I you know have my own sort of mental ideas, you know, considerations as to how um, we can sort of rationalise the relationship uh, between Noctis and Luna, even if uh, it's not, like, fully there. Because you do get the hints that, for example, they have been, um, you know, sending these, these messages um, using that book um, for a long time, just sort of... Um, sharing messages, sending messages to each other, um, using, you know, uh, sending them via the dogs, so Umbra, and eventually we'll meet uh, Prina or Prina, don't remember. Um, but, you know, so they've, they've been sort of building this up. And you do get the feeling that even as kids, there was sort of like um, at least some form of connection, if obviously not um, necessarily a romantic one. So that's at least my, my take on it. I appreciate that uh, everyone is very welcome to disagree and say that it's, uh, it, it, it's, they couldn't get into it. And if you can't get into it, then, you know, that's obviously uh, the fault of the game itself um, for not giving you sufficient reason to do so. Uh, but I think if, you, if you're willing to have a bit of imagination with it, you can still um, get quite a quite a beautiful um, sort of tale of love out of it. Me being overly sappy there, but there we go. Um, okay. So yeah, so we got um, a bunch of quests around this area. As you can see, the time does tick down relatively quickly. It's already three in the... Um, what does that do? It's already three in the... So you get Iron Bangle, which is 100 HP, and Green Choker, which increases HP rate nominally. But yeah, so, um, what was I saying? Um, you're looking at this... Um, we've got a bunch of quests here, and yeah, the, the, the time is ticking away. It's already 3pm. Um, and so we've got here the Scraps of Mystery, um, for us to try and find... Uh, front, us to try and find where on earth this uh, tiny piece of map is. Um, and then also we've got the, um, the our hunt, which is located just over there with the uh, the Mesmineer, which I think we fought before, and also some, some Magnaneer now as well. Which will be the larger ones. Okay, let's just check these guys. So we've got weak to fire, uh, great swords, and ice. So Gladio should be doing a ton of damage because he's got a fire imbued great sword there. Um, that should definitely be doing a, a bunch of damage. Um, as with um, the other enemies of this type, they have horns. Um, if you break the horns, you can get unique items. Um, so we may well try to do that. Do I have any spells? Uh, the other thing I could do is craft. Yeah, okay, I'm going to craft a spell. We've got a large amount of fire magic, so... So we'll take that up to... So wait, that's 10 spells of Fira. And then we'll be able to equip that on Noctis. That should do, hopefully, a decent amount of damage. Watch out! Right. 
So you notice there that um, one of the problems with using, for example, using a magic is that you do get um, uh, you do get problems with regards to uh, friendly fire. So whilst uh, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, because as we've seen. Um, your characters will be regenerating health. You know, you might be able to counter if you start a Hey, I've been counting. How are we? Sitting by. These guys are taking a little, uh, a little more damage to kill than I was just doing. It shouldn't be too bad. I do just want to make sure that uh, Gladio is equipped with the. Yeah, he is good. Okay, there we go. So that's actually doing a lot more damage now. Maybe I missed with the first one. Outstanding, Yeah. Any ideas? Anyone? Doing fine, guys. Not. Back me up. Okay, so oh, I'm in space. Gladio, here goes nothing. Extraordinary, Gladio. Oh, what did you expect? Okay, so.
I don't think we managed to break the horns in that, which is a bit annoying. I'm just going to check our items. Ah, they won't be ingredients, they'll be treasures. Yeah, nothing new. It's a bit annoying. Uh, we got the Mesmineer horns in the previous battle there, but I don't I'm think we, we got anything there, death. which is a bit annoying. Yep, we're all very much alive. Just a little bit frustrating. It would be nice to have... Um, to have achieved that uh, in that battle, just because getting those rarer items is always good. Ah, we find our map Surprise! piece as well. Another map scrap. Oh, the map is still incomplete. So that is good. Um, and so what we'll now find is we'll aim for this treasure spot um, as the next quest we'll be looking at is this one. Squash the squirmers. And if we can do that one fast enough, then we'll be able to head back around um, towards the mines, uh, which are mentioned in the, uh, in the other hunt that we have. So it is only evening, which means that I'm not entirely sure if these flan that we're going to be fighting are going to appear for us. Yeah, so there we go. But that's okay because we do have this uh, this treasure that we want to. I am not well. into wildlife. Oh. Let's just save that. Stop, start killing. That's the uh, dagger version of the attack, um, sort of of the um, of the great sword, leaning back and then delivering a huge a huge slash. Um, the dagger version is you can sort of pull back, Noctis will throw the daggers forwards and then um, leap in to um, to deliver a final blow. Maybe that's what we needed to break the horns. Because generally those um, those finishers will be doing a lot more damage than um, the other um, the other Let's clean him up quick. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're now at night, uh, which should mean that these flan will appear for us. Now, again, this level this is a level fourteen um, quest, so it could be long. Shouldn't be too difficult, um, but we will find um, something new about what. Like the the type of I mean it is night time. Surely they're going to appear. Maybe night time only counts as like nine PM onwards. Okay, so I mean we could just wait up here for a little bit of time. It's a bit annoying to wait, but... Um, I'm not sure there's anything else for us to do, at least at this point.
Nice and simple. No use hanging around here. Indeed. Ah, there we go. Okay, here's our plan. So being Flan, um, and they also means that they are demons as well uh, in this game. Uh, and demons do a different type of damage. Um, the damage that demons do um, will lower your maximum HP over time. Uh, also being Flan, um, the typical sort of thing with Flan, especially in most you know, ant slimes and that sort of type of enemy, is um, that they generally um, physical tanks. They don't take a lot of damage from physical attacks, but they're quite vulnerable to magic. Um, and pretty much because these guys are several levels higher than us, it means that. Oh, hi there, opening. Yeah, so you can see on my HP bar that there's a black area as well. Um, the black section of the HP bar is HP that will not be recovered. Um, whilst, so currently my maximum HP has been lowered down. And you can see that that's also happening for each of, uh, of our teammates. You can see that we are definitely wearing these guys down, even if it is taking a fair while. You'll notice that you can also use the um, techniques strategically, so if you find yourself surrounded by enemies or sort of worried that you're going to be taking damage from a big attack, generally a Noctis is invulnerable during um, his teammates' techniques. Which means you can successfully use them to dodge um, certain attacks. So as we continually use this magic to um, lower these guys down here, if we actually scan one of these flan, uh, we'll probably find that they're resistant to all physical attacks and then I guess they're neutral to most magic. So if we had even stronger magic, then uh, that would be completely obliterating these guys. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Uh, resistant to all physical and weak to holy, um, which we don't get access to for a while yet. Indeed, there are some weapons that you can that will be imbued with. Um, you can imbue with certain elements, just like the Blade of Brunera is imbued with fire. So we can see that our Noctis' maximum HP is a low, lowly in the 300s. Ignis is quite low on health. Okay. 
Still, it looks like we should be about to... There we go, one down. Pain. Never end. Quite difficult, but not too bad. We get through it. And that's what you sort of um, can expect from higher level quests when you take on quests that are a little above your level. And by level, I mean quite a lot. Okay, so um, we're going to keep boosting some of this. Uh, some of the stuff that we have here. I could get to some stuff from this. Uh, what we do want is to get this one, and then that one. The extending boosts is always good, and the AP, again. Uh, again, we won't worry about chocobos just yet. Um, these ones we can afford, but I don't see any real point. Um, so that's a really useful thing uh, for breaking its appendage. During wait mode, warp strike an enemy with half or less HP remaining to increase damage inflicted. Boost damage inflicted by scanning enemy's weakness, which we're doing anyway, so why not? Um, scan enemies faster, and we don't really we don't need to worry about that sort of stuff. Uh, magic. Okay. Gain AP for using element C, so that's very good as well. So we want to get that one. Okay. And absorb more energy from energy deposits is actually quite useful as well. Um, I think rapid regen is, is always sensible. And then um, we'll be looking to get some of these um, these ones here. So increase HP recovery rate when doing a when they're hanging after a point dwarf as well. These are just things that we're always going to be doing. Um, these sort of techniques we will obviously want to be building, especially when we start uh, aiming towards um, unlocking the other characters to play as. Um, but we can definitely uh, stomach having a couple of uh, chapters as Noctis, at least. Um, so we want to take on this one next. Mine 
side mischief makers but we've also got scraps of mystery one which is in pretty much exactly the same area so um, again trying to do um, something to sort of design the um, the path that we're taking such that um, it is um, efficient just that we do all the quests in, a, in the same area at the same time so we should have enough time to run all the way to um, down towards the mine uh, and to find these goblins I mean, we could use Return to Rust Point here as well, uh, if we had wanted to. I don't know how much time that takes, is the only thing. I don't know whether it depends on like where you've been and that sort of stuff, so if you like returned to Golden, uh, sorry, if we like returned to Hammerhead or places like that, how long that... Um, that trip would take, and because we're kind of uh, time sensitive, we are going to just run it. Real nice here. Yeah. Don't sound too sincere there, not just. Uh... Anyway, so we're going to pop in here. Um, one of the things we can do is we can buy at this shop. Um, so, as we can see, this is another. Um, Got some more auto parts, which are um, always very, which are useful and are also only found at those sort of vendors. So you do want to be um, See that over there? continually checking those vendors. What, what is Gladio seen? Looks wild. Yeah, those are the saber tusks that we've been uh, we've been fighting a lot of recently. Anyway, so we don't have too much longer. Um, this whole uh, movement aspect will be made a lot easier once we unlock chocobos. Um, chocobos make uh, the general act of moving, especially at night time, uh, a lot more uh, enjoyable. Because you don't need to be running everywhere. Uh, and I'm sure yeah. the... Uh, the choker pros would would appreciate not having to run everywhere. So we get I think a, I a pebble in my sh star pendant, which protects from poison. You know, take it out. Yeah. So we can see that there's another haven just located up there. Not sure if that one was put on our map by the tipster. Got another procurement spot, some ingredients. And even if we're not going to stay at the Haven, we might as well uh, get some of these energy deposits. As we uh, take our lightning inventory to full. free we are out here. Yeah, far cry from life back home.
Okay, so in case the scrap is found, as we get a bronze bangle. I do not know if that's better than an iron bangle, but still. Um, but yeah, in the case that um, our scrap is located down the hill, we will stay up here uh, just to take care of the goblins, which I believe are just over here towards the entrance to one of the many dungeons in the game, the Baloov Mines. Um, a dungeon that is way too hard for us uh, in terms of the final boss. We can actually enter and explore, but we're not going to be able to complete it for um, a fair while yet. Vicious varmints and dangerous demons. They are all here in the Blue Mines. can at least snatch a remedy uh, from there. Uh, okay, so they're a bit away from the mine. That's okay, we've still got time. Still solidly night. So where are you? Goblin foes. There they are. Okay. Give the orders this time. So these guys are weak to fire, daggers, and pole arms. And because we get damage for uh, more of these guys being scanned, we might as well scan them. I don't think it's a particularly large buff to damage, but it's a buff to damage. Attack! The slightly annoying thing about the demons is that they generally don't give too good in terms of like drops. So there's no point in sort of farming them um, for like items or anything like that. They generally um, is not a particularly uh, lucrative way of of doing things. Okay, so we've got our treasure here, and we've also got our piece of map. Excellent. Yet another part of the map. Uh, how many more are there? Oh. So, quests that we have completed. We've now done Scraps of Mystery 1, 3, and 5. And we will now, as the sun is rising... Head back to Long Life and f finish up everything there because I think we've pretty much done everything that we need to do. Um, I give it one last search just um, because I imagine there may well be a a thing for the data log about Long Life that I don't think we found yet. Um, but aside from that, I think we're looking in pretty good stead before heading down to Golden. Uh, good morning, fellas. Sun come up already? <clears throat> We've been out all night. I think that's our cue to call it a day. The boys will generally uh, do a bit of complaining if you uh, keep them out in the night um, for a little bit too long. 
Um, but generally it's not something you need to worry about too much actually uh, in terms of them getting like tired or anything. Um, and indeed because of the way the experience works, if you want to get the fastest amount of experience possible, you um, you you know hang out for a while, you do a lot of battles, you gain a load of experience by defeating enemies and completing quests, and then once you've done all of that, you then go to a lodging and you dump all of that experience all in one go um, with a high multiplier, and that's the quickest way to actually earn experience compared to like anything. Uh, just because of how good the experience multipliers are. Um, so we may well be having a few uh, late nights and long like double days and that sort of stuff uh, in the future, should that be necessary. Okay, so. Got a big sign for Golden Key that way. And a rusted bit. So the rusted bit, metal scrap, um, both are items that you do need uh, at some point for um, uh, that we will need for future quests as well. Okay, so we'll pop in here and hand in our quests. And we should also um, gain our hunter level as well. Welcome. Welcome back. So we get a high elixir for completing that one. Hey, you're alive. Rising through the ranks, I see. So there we go, we reach Hunter rank 2 and we get a titanium bangle for doing so. Welcome back. must be hungry okay so there's no real reason for us to eat we could always stay at a um, at a place I don't think we're going to be doing too much hunting um, now Happy we will just chat just to area. see if he's got anything more to sell us in terms of locations be careful okay excellent And then what we also need to do is have a quick chat with Dave in order to finish off that quest. Never got a chance to properly express my gratitude for the other day. Thanks for bailing me out of there. I'm grateful for y'all agreeing to help collect tags and all. It'd be a damn shame if your tags are the next ones we find. Like I always tell my hunters, knowledge is power that'll save your ass. Stay informed. I'll save your ass someday, too. Okay, I guess actually we don't get one there. Oh no, did we... Oh, <laughs> we never actually picked up the dog tag. That's silly. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Silly, 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 but there we go. Maybe this way? I'm going to have to battle these saber tusks again. That'll be fine. Since we haven't had any real trouble with these guys. There's the dog tag that we actually needed to pick up.
It's a little bit silly. All of that talk about being efficient and then making that mistake, Down but there we go. go. You're done good. Just taking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Even though I ain't one to talk, I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. But if I let that greed keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. Well, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Okay, so there we go. Um, so Dave, as um, we've seen, will get um, more quests from him. Um, he'll pretty much appear across the map. And what you'll find is that you'll be able to look on the map and you'll start getting the sort of quest here. So here, Dave is actually, uh, he's gonna next be found up here um, at the Prairie Outpost, which is this location up here. Um, and so when we go up there at the start of chapter two, we'll be able to talk with Dave there as well. But still, it's finally time for us to rejoin the Regalia, and uh, it seems like we can only do an auto in this case. Uh, and we will head to Ready Golden Key. You bet. Let's hit it. What you'll also find along these sort of routes is that occasionally you'll hear um, like radio messages and radio chatter. seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. So once more, obviously, Prompto doing his best to needle his friend uh, about his upcoming wedding. But yeah, we hear a bit there, obviously, about, um, about Luna Freya. Um, more about sort of her role uh, as Oracle. And we see just... Um, yeah, just a bit more about what she's up to. Hey, I see the sea. I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kind of want to go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. I'm safe with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. So here we arrive at beautiful, scenic Golden Key. Uh, and at one point we are going to actually have to refuel. Um, so the first things that we can find here, um, we've got a Auric Culinary Chronicle. Uh, these go in the, actually, these are actually found in the data log as well, and they give us some extra, um, they're there to give us extra recipes. So we got, the fella I helped down the mountain and I are on our way back to Les Solemn. At least I think that's where we're headed. Should only be a little further, but I feel like we're just going around in circles. The fella said we ought to take the road less travelled and follow the river. Said the fish will keep our stomachs filled. 
sharp as a tack, this one. Said he wants to be a journalist, but I reckon I ought to make him my partner. Yep, so Ignis gets a new recipe. Now, also around here, I think we can find a another Ready one of... As we see, uh, something about Viv. feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Lunafreya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride-to-be. Uh, he's not the only one. Whew. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. And the dress is bespoke, of course. Now comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. <laughs> Bet the food's gonna be pretty damn fancy, too. Eh, as long as it's something I can eat. As opposed to dissect. Ugh, royally embarrassing. <laughs> can't wait to taste some Altitian seafood. Golden's famous for fish, too. Fish sounds good. So does a balanced meal. How about we try some local surf? How about we catch some ourselves? We got bigger fish to fry. He's right. In case you've forgotten, we came here to cast off, not cast a line. Boys having a bit of a discussion as to what they want to get up to. So we've got some more... Um, there will be some more bounties for us to find. And we can also uh, read here. So here we have our second orienteering checkpoint. Oil and fish make for a delicious dish, but the taste of victory lies further ahead. Seek in the fourth of the valleys the three, where the stairs of stone find their landing. That's it! What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. So Ignis gets another recipe. There's also a chance here for a photo op. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? Oh! Love the lighting. So we get uh, a nice little picture there with Prompto, and that we'll be able to see in the uh, the set at the end. So something we're going to do is we are just going to go to this Hello, and shop, and one of the things. So we've obviously got um, some more. Thank you kindly. Uh, Car-related sort of materials, and I think. Yeah, we can afford that just now. But one of the other things that we're going to do is... So we actually have six Lucian tomatoes, which is excellent. Um, normally we might not actually need to buy one of these just because um, you need them for uh, we hope to see you again. a quest coming up. Huh? Okay, so... So it doesn't look like all is good, if that's the case. Um, so obviously, um, everyone sort of wants to get on with this, and indeed we could. Um, there are some small missions that we can do around this area. Tracks. Uh, Ignis, we're going. But I'm thinking all what we way. can do is... Uh, wander around this area a little bit, and then if we head down uh, further south, East, I believe we should find some. Um, That's it. What's nice. up, Iggy? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Ignis gets another new recipe there. See, so, yeah, I think if we uh, keep going around this area, we will eventually find our first fishing spot. And the main reason I want to do that is because um, Beautiful day. Noctis's totally. fishing uh, skill, just like Prompto's uh, photography, Ignis's cooking, and Gladio's survival, um, it's the sort of thing that it, once you get it started and you start um, doing more of it, it actually gets easier and easier. Um, so the earlier we start, um, and I think also the nice thing about Golden is that there are a few um, relatively easy um, fish to catch around here, which is good um, for our current uh, for our current needs.
So yeah, here we have golden sh golden shoals. To um, get an ancient dragon tooth. So this is uh, Noxus's favourite pastime, as it says. So yeah, you can see we've got two fish, uh, according to the little map up there. Uh, you've got one here, and we've got a glowing one here. We'll go for this one. interested so we'll try again different fish will be dis interested in different ways with how you move the lure sometimes if you just hold it still it will um, be exactly what they want sometimes they want you to move about a bit Are you interested? doesn't look like it been playing other games with fishing mini games so forgetting with this one that you sort of you always want to aim slightly above No, you want to. Damn it. So that seems to put it off. So what we can do is we can just change these if we need to uh, see if the golden, if we have some golden trevally around here. Now you'll notice that, um, so we currently have some pretty weak rods and reels. Um, the ones that I have here, the Avior and the Dragon Drain, those uh, were gained in the Chocobo Moogle Carnival. like that. Put your back into it. Come on. Do you want this? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe we've got some very picky, picky fish here. Dabo, I completely lost my touch with this one. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Try 
try once more with this one. They seem to be moving towards it, is the thing. And you can just about see the fish in the uh, in the in the water below. Maybe I'm just being very impatient. <laughs> Come. How long you think you're gonna be at it? <laughs> no, the feeling. Ooh, goldfish. So you can tell the uh, the fish that are available change over the course of the day. Um, so initially there might only be. Um, like one or two available types of fish, and then eventually they'll become more and more. Hmm, think I'll play King's Knight in the meantime. Better not. His highness will get sulky. Ah, there we go, finally. Okay, so we do have a fish over here that actually likes this lure. Good to know. I see you looking at this lure. I know you want it. So yeah, this one looks like a bit of a uh, it looks like it doesn't quite work for these fish. So if it's going to be anything, it looks like it's going to be that other one. I will try the uh, the chocobo one as well, just um, on these two fish at the side. Any interest? So one of the things that you'll get um, over the course of the fishing mini game is you do end up getting more and more um, uh, of the um, of these lures to obviously help you catch these fish. And different lures work with different types of fish. This one's completely stopped working on this particular fish. And if that's the case, I think we'll stop in this location and maybe try fishing at the other location that's available. One more go. That was unfortunately a bit of a waste of time um, because we were unable to catch anything. Let's hit it. Ignis, shake a leg. On my way. But there we go. It's just how it works. 
what I might do in the future, just because uh, you do eventually do a fair amount of fishing and things like that, is um, during episodes where I am fishing, I might sort of do a, um, like a jump cut or like a sort of uh, a cut of all of the um, more successful attempts that we have there. Um, just because um, I can appreciate definitely that it's, it's, it's not the most thrilling of uh, viewing experiences, if, uh, especially if we're unsuccessful as we were there. Heard that. The dress is being produced by none other than Vivian Westwood. We've also heard that As one. Ooh, here's a new one. completed his scheduled tour of the Crown City ahead of the treaty signing ceremony. Although the precise date of the signing has yet to be unveiled, preparations are already well underway. Government officials say they will issue an announcement regarding the ceremony in the coming days. So Edelus Oldcat is the uh, leader of the Niflheim Empire. And is the uh, the very same person that um, Noctis's father was meeting. That Regis is meeting. Okay, so there's another fishing uh, site just over there that we will uh, try and get some success at. Um, and if we fail to do so, then we fail to do so. That's just how it goes. So we've got Giant Trevally and Golden Trevally. Like a kid in a toy shop. Hello there. Come to fish the deep blue sea. So you've also got some Super Baleen, which is um, better uh, as a. Always a pleasure. So just buy one of each of the um, one of each of these uh, lures. See you next time. Have a look at this, Noct. What about it? Yeah, uh, we sure about this? I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Round two. Let's see if we can get this to work. Um, so in particular, we're looking at uh, Gordon Trevally, and we'll use Spider Silk for the moment. Uh, I don't know how difficult the Trevally are to catch. Okay, excellent. And now we get the dramatic. Music associated with the fishing mini game. It's pretty much whenever the tension is uh, visible, you don't want to be um, reeling in. Unless you're also uh, matching the direction Great that you need to put the, uh, the the left analog stick. There you go. It is actually nice and simple to do. Is we get a giant trevally, and Ignis gets another recipe. So yellow are edible. Being the first fishing area in the game, I think most of the fish around this area are relatively easy to catch in terms of like the um, what we saw at the uh, in terms of like its HP at the top and that sort of stuff. 
There will be uh, much harder fish in the future. But at the same time, obviously, our equipment will improve. So if we were using the... Um, the Aldereo and the Dragon um, Dream, or whatever it was, Dragon Drain. Wow, you did good. Um, we'd be getting... Um, This is obviously a good way to get uh, certain ingredients, namely stuff like trevally fillets and... Trevally, so slightly different, uh, just as useful. Respool the line before it's too late. So they're choosing that just because um, you can see that I don't have particularly um, durable line at the moment. Okay, another pretty easy to catch fish. So we get a glowing barrel fish. Do we actually have something that's for those? Yeah, we do. So that might actually make these uh, a little bit easier. Show a bit of emotion, you know. It's a good looking fish. Not feeling ambitious. What are you trying to say, Ignis? So it looks like we've got a bunch of barrel fish. Uh, sorry, these glowing, these glowing fish. Just want to see if any of these fish are different. Um, Time to move up from Little League, don't you think? Talk about backseat fishing. 
but this just looks like another barrel fish. Again, as I said, the uh, the fish that you see do vary. Well, at this rate, we're gonna fish this place dry. You've improved. So always the aim is to keep improving. Right? Yes, that looks like another barrel fish, uh, another glowing barrel fish there. I think maybe just for uh, an illustration, I will use the um, much better equipment. I was hoping to see something epic. A mortal struggle between man and fish. There you can see with the uh, better equipment, nice. this is very, very uh, quick to catch some of these. To catch some of these fish. We could save it for another day. No need to force it. Yeah. I know you can be a bit more adventurous than that. Can you hope something like? Oh. Well, at this rate, we're gonna fish this place dry. Yep. Nice and simple. You did good. Uh, not. You can show a bit of emotion, you know. Okay, so we get a glowing barrel fish there, and um, that will be that. I'm just gonna check uh, what other things. So we've got crag barrel mundi. Uh, Golden Trevally, Glowing Barrel Fish, Snake Head, and Phoenix Bass, Dank Barramundi, Crag, and Ulster Bass. Okay, so after our little uh, fishing detour, we can now head over towards the boat and uh, see what's up. There are those fish, they're just mocking me. Them. Looks like you've got lots of like the glowing barrel fish seem to appear um, to come out at night. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler. Ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? Uh, they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Uh, yeah, right. What 
that guy said about the port being closed? He must be I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. So you can see um, that there have been uh, photo contests going on. Um, so this was uh, one regarding Ignis. Uh, and then there have been other uh, other photo contests going on. I just adore this shop. Mm, this is amazing. Wow, you can't beat fish fresh from the ocean. No place serves it fresher than golf. Welcome to the Mother of Pearl. We use the freshest fish in every dish. So, what do you want to know? Put a few, a few procurement points on the map. Take a look so eating here is a bit more expensive than in a lot of other places, um, but some of the boosts that they, you get from these are actually very, very good. Um, and some of these recipes Ignis can also learn as well. Um, in terms We'd of hunts, we have a, a few hunts here. Um, this one we can definitely do. The other ones. Much obliged. It will be slightly tougher, but we can certainly give them a go. Oh, this one's especially nasty. Especially once we um Much obliged. Once we've um leveled up, um, we'll be looking a lot better. Take care out there. Still, we'll head down. Um, a book of the cosmogony. Um, these also go into our database. So, the Hexatheon, Titan the Archean, steadfast as stone, Rama the Fulgurian, sharp as lightning, Shiva the Glacian, gentle as snow, Leviathan the Hydrian, relentless as tides, Bahamut the Draconian, unbending as iron. Ifrit the Infernian, fickle as fire. Since time immemorial, they have watched over Eos. So we have a list of the gods. And it's fair to say that gods uh, and the nature of gods and that sort of stuff does um, play a pretty big part in a lot of what um, happens in this game. Uh, there's the Golden Spa. Care for a massage. Right this way, please. Is it free? <sighs> he is not happy about that. Noctis did not approve of that, it seems. Huh. Anyway, if we head south... Ah, uh, man. Not a ship in sight. What gives? So there we see our experience being tallied up. As we uh, can look out over Angel Guard in the distance. Now we've got something new at the end of the pier. Does not seem to want to allow me to pick it up. There we go. A rusted bit. So here we have Angel Guard, mysterious island off the coast of Golden Key, long rumoured to be the spot where the gods gathered. Some devotees used to offer prayers from the dock of the key, but none ever set sail for the Umbral Isle to make their prayers in person. The island is regarded as sacred ground, never to be tread upon. Not even the royal family is allowed across. 
A sea of reefs surrounds Angel Guard, cutting through the oceanic currents and threatening to sink any ships that veer too close. While ferries and fishing boats typically avoid the island, some truly adventurous anglers have been known to approach the Umbral Isle in hopes of landing a big haul, but those reckless souls rarely return. Is that something um, regarding Angel Guard? Uh, again, thinking about that, we might well have one for um, for Gordon as well, but I don't know where that one would be. According to my sources, the Empire given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctus? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. What do you want? Hey, I knew you'd come around. Let me see your map. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capiche? So we have uh, another I'll make minor sure you character. Got a boat to ride, all right? So what's the scoop on this little road trip anyway? Some kind of secret bachelor gig? I'll make sure you got a boat to ride, all right? So yeah, we've got um, as we can see the taste. House of service indeed. Ooh, he's really got your number, Knox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we have, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. An Oracle Ascension coin found down there. So you can stay here at the um, in Golden. Uh, Thinking about checking it out. And it is not one of the. Oh, um, looks like fun to me. Then you go. My mind's already open. Pronto then. It is one of the most, um, I think it, it gives you the best uh, experience bonus in the game. So it is worth uh, staying there I just adore uh, shop. at some points just to give you that, uh, that big experience bonus. So we can see that there is a quest awaiting us on the bridge, but where could it be? Hey, buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? Yeah. How come you're all alone? Yeah. You must be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Oh, gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. So it's meant to be an idea uh, all right. to fish? This one's perfect. We have already obtained an edible trevally, so we'll see how this, uh, how the cat feels. So you get a very cute little cat. Here you go, caught fresh. <sighs> what? You don't like fish? No. Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. You can see the beautiful sunrise here in Golden Key. And we'll go quickly speak to uh, the chef, who I think is called Clocktura. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? Is that the best pickup line you've got? What? No, I. There's this cat over there. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? Smells good. Mm, this is amazing. Well, you can't beat fish fresh from the ocean. No place serves it. Great! I'll start on 
it right away. You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clingy, and they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. So we get cocktail as cat food. I think you can also buy some cat, cat food um, from the um, from the store down there, but in a lot of ways, there's no point in doing so because it's just uh, extra. It costs money, whereas doing it this way is um, All right, completely you free go. as long as you uh, do your do the fishing. You're one spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging forever. <laughs> uh, some, some terrible jokes there, guys. But there we go. Okay, so uh, it's now morning, um, which means that we cannot do our nighttime hunt around here, which is probably a good thing because it is actually many, many levels above us at this point. Let's see if this is what you can buy today? cat food. Or was it just... Oh, I, probably, I might be uh, misremembering. It might be. There's a second cat oh. quest later on, actually, that I think might have something to do with it. Okay, so we've got uh, half a mile to travel, so we'll jump in the regalia. Everything in order? Yep. Mm-hmm. Right about your lack of dignity. You're one step above delivery, boy. Royal rank carries little weight outside the ground city. Glad it's not weighing you down. So as we make the short drive uh, back towards well, where, um, where Dino requested us to travel. See that there is a um, mining location. You there. sure we're in the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. <clears throat> let's head on out. There are treasure locations further ahead that are probably a little far away from my liking, although I think there is one just up the road. Um, and the other thing that I might want to do is just make a lightning spell. So I'll create a Thundara spell, and we might as well equip it for now. Just because we're approaching that haven, and we will be picking up the elemental uh, deposits from Venoch Haven um, when we can. But I just want to check, I think there is a... Um, uh, something to be picked up along the road back here. So we get an amulet. Um, yeah. 
so a bronze bangle is 50 titanium 200 an amulet it enhances magic slightly so you can see it remove it gives you plus 60 to your magic um, which is quite interesting okay so venal haven um, we'll pick up the elemental deposits and then we will head um, head up to where Dino wants us to go. We're here. Okay, so we've got some more Mesmineer around. Break. It's been a while since we've uh, had a successful break. But not too bad. As we get some Aos Green Peas. Come on, there we go, some Azure Root. Okay, so Dino wants us to climb up here and as he said, find some some pretty looking rocks. And in doing so, um, he will craft um, special uh, accessories for you as well later on. This will make a fine paint. O-M-G. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. Big, beautiful beast. That's the first time I've ever had it. Wake oh, up, though. We made it out alive. Barely. I seriously thought we were at journey's end. With that feat, was fit for a king. Indeed. So get some choker beans up here. 
And we could keep running down. I uh, just want to see what we can see. Because so being up on these um, sort of the ramparts above the uh, above the road is relatively rare, actually. Obviously, the way you get up here is over that bridge there. Um, but you don't generally come up here. Or very, very little need to come back up here. Wow, the color's amazing. So we can get some more uh, some more mineral deposits. And then we'll be able to drop down for even more. Wah! Solhend Pass. Okay, so having made it this far, we'll be able to jump back in the regalia and then make our way back to Gordon, back to Dino. And um, that'll be... What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. So we may well do one of the uh, one of the hunts that we have. Um, which is located pretty close to um, this sort of location around here. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. Should be a nice change of pace. So what we can do from here is uh, pick this up. This will make a fine paint. Pick up some more uh, mineral deposits and then head sort of a bit more cross country. Are there any treasure spots? So we've got treasure spot there. Um, Some more ingredients and we can find an ammonite fossil there some funguas again clearly not inspiring enough for uh, ignis to come up with a new recipe so yeah there are uh, uh, targets for the next um, for our next battle. So it's just saying that just because um, we've got two that are pretty much in the same location uh, here. So weak to ice and great swords. Ruby shears. So we have a few of these uh, sort of type of enemies, the sort of crab type enemies. Um, these guys are generally um, they generally deal a lot of damage with their attacks, but they attack infrequently and relative is relatively telegraphed. Yeah! 
Just getting too aggressive. Yeah, still just being a little too aggressive. Wasn't too bad. Put it in the box. It's history now. It's slightly frustrating just because we could have definitely done that quicker, but um, I'm not going to worry too much about it at this stage. So I believe that those items are actually down here. Some more fungwas. And the, maybe not. Treasure may well be if we head up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. To get a fences anklet. Which enhances vitality. So it's a better version of what I'm currently wearing, so I might as well put that one on. Man, it's hot. Then lose the jacket. Okay, so you can also see uh, the large crabs that are down that way. That is uh, another one of our um, quests, namely this one. This one is obviously significantly higher level than us. Um, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to uh, do a pretty decent job. So we've actually got uh, two sets of these, these smaller crabs around here are just standard enemies. These stone shears. And they look like they follow the sort of traditional... Um, I'm going all out. This typical Outstanding, Nice work, Gladio. So to me, it looks like Gladio, because he's got the Blade of Brunir, which is actually um, which is actually fire. Um, it's actually hurting him against these guys who are actually neutral to, to, to fire. So these are our Spark Shears. Um, again, same sort of thing. So strong against fire and holy, but weak against ice. So we do a pretty decent chunk of damage with that. And they do a ton of damage with that. Yeah. 
Okay, so this one might require a lot of HP just because. Sorry, a lot of healing. Watch yourself, knocked. I know. I was holding square there. To help Ignis out when I can. I need to find out where he is. Be a lot more defensive here. Hey, big guy! I'm on it. <laughs> nice work, Gladio. Yep. I was holding square for so long there. As long as we still keep doing the, nice work, Gladio. these tempests, I think we will do that. But this has definitely been a, a less than ideal battle. Up 
Hi there, opening. <laughs> Gladio. Nice one, Pronto. There we go. Okay. So we took that on definitely too early. Um, Especially something this big. What it's gained in size, it will have lost in flavor. That's what you're hung up about. So yeah, definitely tough. Um, especially at our current level, but yeah, wasn't too bad. Wow, the color's amazing. Like we're obviously low on curatives now, um, which is a little bit of a pain, but it will give us good experience, and the more experience we get, even at this early stage, is always going to be good. Um, so we get Lackety Haven. I'm assuming that's how somehow similar to how you pronounce it. So we'll get close to full on ice and probably close to full on fire as well. Full on fire as well. So We'll definitely do some more elementsy. Um, we can definitely afford to use more spells. One of the things is, is because the spells are consumables, um, it does sort of deter you from using them nearly as much as you probably could do. Um, Rather sultry, yeah. And I think that is um, and here we are. something that I'm going to try and improve on at least here. Um, but we've got a bit of time. Uh, I'm thinking I want to do some fishing until night time, um, and then we time. can do the... Um... Show a bit of emotion, you know. So we got a nice golden trevally there. Um. As we see uh, a rarer fish there, I do not know what that is. Um. So let's try this one, maybe. I don't know. It's green, and I've heard that sometimes the uh, sort of fish go towards lures that are the same colour. Well, that looks like a, another Trevally, I think. He's off on the reeling. To worry about Gladio. Nice. <laughs> yeah, a nice big golden trevally. About time for a new line, ain't it? Be a bit more careful with this fish. Not massively so, you can see our durability uh, is certainly not like absolutely tanking. Fish are taking a bit longer to reel in. There we go. What did we catch? Improved. A reef trevally. 
brand new fish. Apparently it works for the glowing barrel fish, but it caught me a reef trevally, which I'll take. making quick work of this um, again just sort of just fishing until nightfall um, I wonder what that fish is there so I don't think it's a uh, one of the, um, the usual bluefish the uh, what? Can't you catch us something bigger? Talk about backseat fishing. Can't you hook something like boss level? Is that reddish color? Or do you want to go for this one? Man, isn't there anything big here? Did not seem to work. Teeny tiny fishes. <sighs> okay, now that just looks like a glowing barrel fish, so I don't know if that's if that's officially changed. Not feeling ambitious. They're so cutting though. Noctis's ambitions. I was hoping to see something epic. A mortal struggle between man and fish. Great. More small fry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do look like it's just these uh these barrel fish now. So I imagine that this one's also just another barrel fish. But judging by uh, what we found out last time, uh, we have uh, one more in-game hour to wait before our uh, hunt quarry will appear. Beginner's luck. There we go. You did good. Okay, excellent. So we complete some, some fishing, and now we will head over to um, this one, the Stealers of Lives. Rather ominous sounding quest. Do, 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 do. That's an that's the oryx, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do, 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 do. So these are Glamhoth, um, the Glamhoth are generally just stronger goblins, um, so a very similar type of enemy, uh, similarly yeah, annoying type of slipped. enemy as well. Um, just because they're the sort of type of enemy that deal a lot of damage with uh, attacks that aren't obviously parryable, um, like you don't have the big square prompt with a lot of them. There we go, okay. 
So we've got weak to fire, pole arms, strong against ice, which is a bit annoying. We're outnumbered, I propose. a way to finish this faster. Fair to say, I'm not playing this the correct way because we should really be looking at like building up, uh, like yeah. using the buffs that you can get. From the Let's see, what are these? We just earned a whole bunch of barrel fish scales. That just seems to boost strength by a small amount. Stop cast, fail cast, quad casts. Um, quad cast. Dual cast. using elixir at some point. These guys seem pretty tough. actually give him back the Blade of Rhaenyra, which will help a lot.
Okay, we've killed one, which is good. Finished off two of them. We can definitely do more. Try this. They're all so weak. Try this. Yes. Nice work, Gladio. This one's just for you. We've only got one more. What did you expect? We still got a chance here. Don't go dying on me now. Bunto, you're up. Hi there, opening. <laughs> nice one, Prompto. There we go. Ooh. Probably wasn't worth it, but there we go. I'm comfortable just being alive. Very much so. I know exactly. I think we definitely took on a bit more than we could chew there, but uh, we managed to pull through. Um, and obviously that makes sense, given that we took a quest that was, what, more than double our level. Um, it's real pretty here at night, and yet, by all But there you get a sort of... Pales in comparison to old Tisha. Some sort of... Seriously? Comparison you can start to make between um, the... Sort of... You can make a comparison between... Um, the types of enemies, so like the Ruby Shears, you know, they were level 17 because when they hit me, they did like 400 damage. So you do a massive amount of damage in one hit, and so you need to be very careful. Um, alternatively, when we're looking here, those guys, they do a lot of, they were doing a lot of sort of less damage, but they were doing it in smaller hits, or sort of rapidly, and um, it was a lot harder to actually, you know, continually dodge them. You had to be very careful as to where you were picking your moments, and I wasn't doing that particularly well. Anyway, so here, Golden Key, stunning seaside getaway situated along the Vanath coast in southern Leed, known not only for its world-class spa, but also for the exquisite seafood dishes crafted by mother of Pearl's chef de cuisine, Koktura Arlund. While the key 
currently enjoys its reputation as the kingdom's premier resort, Golden itself was once a quiet fishing town. That all changed when Niflheim made inroads into Lucian territory some 150 years ago and effectively put all lands outside the Crown City under imperial control. From that time onward, the former fishing village transformed into a trading post connecting the Lucian continent with the imperial province of Accordo. In time, the Empire shifted their shipping operations from the sea to the skies, and Gordon's importance as an imperial outpost diminished. What the town lost in strategic value, however, it gained in culture, gleaning heavily from Altitian immigrants drawn to Lucian shores. In that sense, one could say the key owes its current success to the Empire's intervention. So yeah, we're talking there a lot about the Empire. Um, so clearly, the Empire has always had strong, you know, it's always been strong. It's been de facto in control of most of the regions that we've been talking about. So all of everything that we've pretty much been exploring, and Duskai and Klain, um, have already been under Imperial control for a long time. It's just that... Um, uh, they've never been officially... Um, ceded over to Niflheim. They've always been sort of like, even though Niflheim's definitely had their presence around, they've always um, sort of, whilst this ceasefire has been going on, um, I can't recall having a better meal. You can find better so it seems like what's happening is that uh, even though, so Lucis is ceding these Welcome lands, back. which they've essentially already lost, they can't defend them anymore, certainly. Uh, it seems, really based on um, what's happening in the, um, you know, based on the war effort currently, and the fact that they're retreating behind their city, um, and Niflheim is primarily taking um, these areas as official Niflgar, you know, as an official imperial territory, as opposed you to sort really of just the proxy, um, the proxy sort of. L leadership that they've had so far. Okay, so we get our three um, things there. Feel like having today? Um, we will talk once you more. Do know this is a restaurant. Just to see if there was anything new. Thank you for your patronage. And now we'll head back to Dino and finish off these quests. Uh. And we should be able to, I think we will stay here, which will give us a nice boost to um, the uh, to our experience. The Saluna Cascades are calling you in Altitia, which again is the capital of Accordo, which again is um, still, we're talking like imperial territory, primarily. So we'll give Dino this stone. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty is going to become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time. As promised, I'm in the process of securing your ferry tickets right now. Told you, I'm a man of integrity. Should be smooth sailing from here. So let me know when you're ready to ship out. I admit I didn't expect Dino to secure us a ship. Well, must be pretty connected if he can pull some strings around an Imperial embargo. Yeah, that guy's one artful artisan. And indeed, a lot of his quests sort of revolve, well, generally his quests are involved going to places, picking up stones, and, um... You guys ready to set sail? Already? The ship won't arrive till tomorrow. How about you find a place to spend the night? Okay, so as we're going to find a place to spend the night, as Dino suggests, um... Ugh, I'm all sticky and gross. Woohoo! Bath time! So as you we were saying, uh, Dino's quests involve going to find better and better stones, which he then turns into uh, accessories. So you saw there that we got a garnet um, bracelet, I think. And that's because we went to get a garnet stone. So you can see there we're going to get double the experience that we would normally get. Um, so 5,000 experience, which takes us all the way to level 12. 
we can see that uh, our fishing endeavors have raised Noxus up a few, up to level three. Uh, Gladio is also at level three. As he starts, he's going to start hoarding uh, high potions. Picture of Dave. Is that meant to be Nocto and Kenny Crow? Because if it is, that's quite disappointing. The gang's all here, see? Us? Well taken. So the big question is, how did they get that picture of uh, the mysterious stranger there? So we've got Dino, uh, Coptura, the beautiful beast. That's a nice photo. There's a lot of good ones around this area, it seems. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia falls. What? Is this your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. <sighs> if only... <sighs> what else do we know? <sighs> well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back.
So here we have it. While waiting for the boats to go out, ill tidings arrive. The headlines say insomnia has fallen, King Regis is dead, but the four cannot be sure until they see it with their own eyes. In search of truth, they make their way back to the Crown City. So the scenes that we just saw are all from the Kingsglaive Final Fantasy XV movie, which covers the timeline sort of just before and um, then sort of similar timeline to when after the Noctis and his uh, group have left Insomnia and looking at the arrival of the Niflheim sort of group of people um, and then uh, what you just saw there. Um, Plenty of faith. Enough. The Empire lied. They betrayed us. Conjecture gets us nowhere. We're searching for truth. All you'll find are lies. Like that ceasefire. Transport soldiers, namely the Magitek infantry. The robots? Mass produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. Doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. Okay. So before we do just that, we will just uh, quickly discuss what we've just seen. So, because I think, um, I know that it, it, it's not necessarily immediately clear if you haven't seen the film. So we saw there that um, Regis, King of Lucis, and the Emperor Idealus Aldercapt of Niflheim were there to sign the treaty in the room when uh, they see then an explosion is seen in the shield generator, the shield that's keeping um, that's keeping insomnia safe. Um, and then they realize uh, so the emperor is about to shoot Regis when he obviously realizes that it's all been a trap. Indeed, he actually knows that it is a trap from the first hand, but um, they believe it's going to you know it, it, it's a trap. Uh, he summons. He's able to summon the royal arms, which is why you see all of the floating weapons, and Noctis is going to be able to do that soon. That is something that is uh, co covered in the next chapter, in chapter two. So uh, Regis tries to defend himself, um, but he is eventually slain by uh, Captain Glauca, who was the big sort of armoured soldier that we saw there. Um, so he kills Regis, um, or at least he... Uh, severs the Ring of the Lucii from Regis's hand, and the Ring of the Lucii is what gives um, the Lucian kings their power. Uh, it, it's a special power afforded to the kings of Lucis, and so without it, um, it becomes uh, there's a load of trouble. And at the same time, you can see that um, Niflheim have released these huge weapons of mass destruction inside Insomnia, and are pr destroying the city, uh, to, uh, you know, breaking it down to pieces. So that's sort of there what that is meant to show us. Want to take them out? Oh yeah, the scrap heaps are gonna wish they had a treaty to protect them. 
So we've got some Imperial Riflemen here who are weak to guns, fire, and shields. But they're only level 3, so they should be pretty easily taken out. We've also got... Oh no, they're all Riflemen. Yeah, so these guys uh, should not be too much trouble to. But being ranged enemies, uh, Continue to cut our way through these uh, the Magitech soldiers. These guys we can obviously see are very low level relative uh, to us, but in uh, obviously if we had just um, ran straight from uh, you know got just on the main quest and not done any side quests, then uh, level three wouldn't be or well, would be a lot closer uh, to us than they currently are. So at the moment, there's really no threat to us. Which I think actually works quite nicely from a story perspective, because it's like uh, Noctis letting his rage um, sort of... Where do they keep coming from? I can't imagine what it's like inside. Instead of using his rage to um, increase the power of his, of his strike. We should seek advantage for it. The hill. Slightly more dangerous enemies here. With the Magitek Axeman. As we pick up a Drain Lance. which works quite similar to our engine blade, which also uh, does a very similar thing where they, um, where it absorbs the energy of... Um, so if I kill an enemy with the engine blade, you'll see sometimes that I pick up a small amount of elemental energy associated with that enemy. So for these guys, it's been lightning energy. Uh, the Drain Lance is very similar to the same thing. Okay. As the ceasefire discussions between the two nations, all provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent developments. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis' death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been pronounced dead. Keep it on. Don't bother! Hello? 
Kor. So, you made it. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Outside the city, with no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? The news just told me I'm dead, along with my father and Luna. Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king, it's true. <laughs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Right. What did the marshal have to say? So there we have it, the end of chapter one and what will probably be the end of this episode, which I hope you have enjoyed. We've covered a lot, um, the sort of everything that's going to start pushing um, the story onwards um, in terms of, uh, yeah, so we're now going to definitely start pushing the story onwards. Um, we're now very much wanted, proclaimed dead, but very much um, would s they still will obviously uh, want us found and most likely killed and yeah so we are here um at the end of chapter one in chapter two we're going to sort of get um we're going to start seeing how we're going to deal with this how are we going to move forwards from this how is noctis going to um react to what the news that we've just had So, with that in mind, I am going to uh, call this episode to an end. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next. <laughs>